Our Mark Steinis has been at the site of the award since very early this morning. Mark? Mary, I am inside our exclusive Skybox luxury suite here at the Staples Center. We are just hours away from showtime. Host Rosie O'Donnell told us she cannot wait until Mark Anthony hits the stage tonight. And Will Smith gave us a special preview of his show opening performance. Nobody do this the way I do. Last night's rehearsal shows the superstar will be surrounded by nearly two dozen dancers in a medley of Freakin' It and Wild Wild West. Yeah, yeah. The Wild Wild West. To present the award for record of the year. Rosie says she's leaving the singing to the pros. I'm not performing with anyone. I'll be doing a few musical impressions. I'll be um, on stage when Mark Anthony starts. E.T. will be in Mark Anthony's limo tonight as the Latin singer arrives with his fiancée, 1993 Miss Universe, Diana Torres. But all the action wasn't just at the Staples Center. Last night, Clive Davis hosted his annual Arista Records party, the biggest Grammy bash of the year. It included a duet between Whitney Houston and Natalie Cole. You're singing tonight. You're going to yes. dedicate anything to Clive? This, this, this performance is for him. Yeah? Yes. I don't usually do a 45-minute show. While not every artist can win a Grammy, none will leave empty-handed. Thanks to backstage creations and distinctive assets, they will receive a designer duffel bag crammed with everything from Escada eyewear to a Swarovski crystal-encrusted cell phone. As for the price tag? Somewhere between four and $5,000. I will be the first to greet the stars when they hit the red carpet. And Mary, get ready. This is going to be one great night. I'll see you here later. Okay, Mark, thanks. And of course, it will be a big night. I'm going to take over his spot in our Skybox luxury suite. And tomorrow, we'll, of course, have all the coverage from backstage and on stage with all the stars. And for more Grammy news, you can click onto our ET website, listen to the nominated songs, and then vote for your favorite artist. Now, it's also on the red carpet tonight at the Staples Center. Now, in Hollywood, last night, another major musical event as the biggest names in music came out to honor one of the biggest names in music. He's executive that has the ears. He's a genius. He just has that magic. Music is my passion. The artists are my soul. Last night in Hollywood, the biggest A-list stars and entertainers came together to honor just one man, Clive Davis. The man who discovered Janis Joplin, Whitney Houston, and engineered the comeback of Carlos Santana. He's the person that can make it happen because he can look at you, uh, look at your heart, and, and he can see if you have the stuff. Clive is the man that, that everybody looks talk to, to yeah. and talks to everybody. and tries to find out where's the next thing going. You know, where's music Either going? how to survive in the industry or how, where it's or going. How do we do it? Or where it's going. Okay. Clive is the man. Clive was the one who brought me to them. So I will always be grateful to him and I will always be thankful for the career I had because Clive initiated all of that. And even across town at the Latin Grammy celebration, Gloria Stefan had a few words of support for her friend. Clive is, is uh, an industry unto himself, and I think there's nothing better than the success he had with his Santana record to show people that he's always been the cutting edge. He's still got it. Does it warm your heart to have people come out like that when, th when things are happening? It more than warms my heart. The night was full of surprises, including exclusive access to a very special event. What's happening right inside this tent is a once-in-a-lifetime moment at a once-in-a-lifetime event. A celebration of Clive was the perfect opportunity for the rare photo op, capturing three music icons, Santana, Whitney, and Clive, all together at one time. No, he's done. The man is done. But the highlight of the night took place center stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this Whitney Houston. Whitney's performance included a duet with Natalie Cole and finally Grammy nominee Santana. And back at the Staples Center, a sneak peek backstage at tonight's big event. This is something very special and very few people get to do. We are backstage. Now, when they win their Grammy, they walk this way. It's called the Winner's Walk. And they get to head up what's being called this year the Stairway to Heaven. Come on. So they come up these stairs, probably shaking a bit because they're still excited after winning, and head through this corridor to meet the world's press as the Grammy winner. Now, check out this place. It's very cool. It is Internet Central. This is where all the winners come for a little online chat. It's called Grammy.com. Now, last year, they had over 100 million hits. This year, they're expecting twice as many. Thank you, Tony, very much. And we are ready. Here is a look at our Grammy winner's room, all set and ready for all the winners to come and talk to us backstage. And coming up next, 
Grammy O's Rosie O'Donnell answers the burning question about her 